thank you, Bob. Just hits. As you probably know, I've spent most of my career behind the cameras and even more of it behind a desk. I'm the president and chairman of the board of the Welk Group, and I'm kept busy with a lot of projects in real estate and in the hospitality and the entertainment industries. But I'm not here to talk about business. I'm here to talk about this great show. In the next hour, I'll do some reminiscing about the past and tell you about some of our exciting plans. But first of all, I want to thank all of you for allowing The Welk Show to continue on public television. Without the generous contributions of fans like you, your local station would not be able to bring you this weekly series. Dad was on ABC television for 16 years and in first-run syndication for 13 years. With this series on public television, The Welk Show keeps its title as one of the longest-running programs in the history of television. My father was truly a remarkable man and had a wonderfully successful life. He brought happiness to millions with his upbeat musical programs on television, and he always loved to perform live in dance halls in the early days and then on stage from the TV show. Dad launched the careers of dozens of entertainers. He formed a family that grew and changed over the years. But in the most important way, his program stayed exactly the same. He always gave the audience what it wanted, an hour of family entertainment that included good music in a ballroom setting, talented performers in colorful costumes, and the overall feeling of fun and good times. It was his trademark, and the songs were all hand-picked by my father. It's a trip down memory lane for me, and I hope it is for you, too. recording hit, Calcutta, and our thanks to our good friend, Randy Wood, for giving us this hit. Now here's a beautiful Hoagie Carmichael song by Tom Netherton. Georgia, Georgia, the whole day through. Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. 
Georgia, Georgia, a song of you comes as sweet and clear as moonlight through the pines. Other arms reach out to me, other eyes smile tenderly. Still in peaceful dreams I see The road leads back to you Georgia, Georgia No peace I find Just an old sweet song Keeps Georgia on my mind Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Well, next we have the title song of an album that was a big hit for Mr. Welk, and you're going to hear the man who sang it on that record, Bob Lido. And he's going to be joined by Sandy, Gail, and Mary Lou. <laughs> show went on national television in 1955, I was still in high school, but I worked after school and on weekends as a band boy, running errands and passing out sheet music and donuts. It was great experience and I learned a lot about shooting live television programs. When I graduated from college in 1961, I went off to pursue my career in the music industry, but I was still involved in the family business and was on the board of directors. In 1980, Dad started to think about semi-retirement, and he asked me to take over as president of the Wealth Group, and I was happy and proud to do it. My father was smart and made a lot of good decisions in both the entertainment and real estate industries. As we say in show business, he's a tough act to follow. That's what Dad always said about Myron Florin, too. He considered Myron the best accordion player on the show and gave him all the good numbers. He never stopped bragging about what a great musician he discovered. Myron and my father worked together for 32 years and were good friends. Today it is usually Myron in the center spotlight leading the band the way my father did for so many years. He's still as popular and talented as ever and today looks just about the same as he does in this show. 
there must be a fountain of youth in that accordion. Grandpa's still practicing. <laughs> Following the success of Calcutta, Lawrence had a, quite a string of recording hits, <sighs> including a Calypso melody, which became the title of another million-selling album. We've had many, many requests to feature Jack Immel a little more on the marimba. So here, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear Jack and our girls' chorus. <laughs> Welk Ranch in Bonsall, California, just over the hill from the Lawrence Welk Resort in Escondido. I think there must be a lot of North Dakota farmer in me because I really love it here. These days I'm into raising cutting horses, those hard-working athletes of the animal world that keep the cattle in check. It's a real challenge for a city boy like me. As I'm sure you know, Dad was born on a rocky, tree barren homestead in Strasburg, North Dakota. He lived there until he was 21 years old, working with his father and dreaming about a life in music. The house today looks very much the same as it did when he left it and has been restored and furnished by folks in the surrounding towns. I was there when the Welk Birthplace and Museum opened in June of 1992. 
and it was one of the most memorable weekends of my life. People came from all across the country to be a part of the celebration. The town had planned a parade for the dedication, and my wife, Lynn, my sons, Larry and Kevin, and I rode on the back of a convertible and threw candy to the kids. There was actually a traffic jam in Strasburg that day, and we had to take a back road to get to the festivities on time. After the crowd was gone, I watched the sunset on the quiet prairie, and I knew that I was looking at the same scene that Dad had watched as he grew up. So little had changed there. It is still a remote, lonely landscape, and I understood and appreciated even more what a long road my father had traveled to become a nationally known band leader and television star. When you visit North Dakota, Stop in and visit the Welk Homestead. It's a real taste of Americana, and the people who work there will be happy to show you around. Tell them Larry invited you in for a cup of tea. wonderful this young man. Jerome Kern wrote so many wonderful songs it's hard to pick a favorite. Now here's one of his most beautiful compositions by Kathy Sullivan, Bob Smale at the piano. with Freddie Martin and Ray Conniff, 
has been our call director for the past three years, and he's doing a wonderful, wonderful job for us. This next all-time favorite came to us from France. We have Jimmy Roberts and Kathy Solomon in the vocal spotlight, with Bob Ballard conducting our course. <laughs> love the sound of choral singing. The more voices, the better. And I guess that's why our musical family kept growing. He always said that the best choir he ever heard was the one he grew up with in Strasbourg at the Church of Saints Peter and Paul. I was stunned when I saw this absolutely gorgeous church right there in the middle of a little North Dakota town. It was built in 1911 by the members of the parish most of them immigrants, who must have been homesick for the cathedrals of their home countries. The church has priceless old stained glass windows and a breathtaking altar that holds beautiful statues and a dramatic crucifix. The side altars are filled with more statues, and the pulpit and communion rail are richly hand-carved by the kind of craftsmen that don't exist anymore. A few years ago, the church and its statues were lovingly repainted by the parishioners themselves. If the choir was half as good as the church that surrounded it, no wonder my dad thought it was the best. Time hasn't changed the church or the town of Strasburg very much, but there aren't many other things in the world that have stayed the same. In 1973, when the next song was written, who would have guessed that it would become the theme song for the hostage crisis our country faced at the end of the decade. Symbolic yellow ribbons reappeared for Desert Storm, and let's hope that's the last we see of them. My dad believed it, and so do I. Music has, and always will, help us get through the toughest of times. <laughs> I'm coming home, I've done my time Now I've got to know what is and isn't mine If you receive my letter telling you I'd soon be free Then you know just what to do if you still want me If you still want me Tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree It's 
been three long years. Do you still want me? If I don't see a ribbon round the old, old tree, I'll stay on the bus, forget about us, put the blame on me. If I don't see a yellow ribbon round the old, old tree, been associated with polkas. So with that in mind, we'd better include our most requested polka. We feature Myron Florin and our charming Samanska sisters. <laughs> Edwards, who has developed his musicianship to a high degree of perfection. He comes from the small town of Tuskegee in Alabama. And I think you'll agree with me when I say that Dave is one of the finest saxophonists in the business. Listen to Dave now and the band and the familiar Errol Garner song, Misty. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet Lily. She is one of my cutting horses, a full-bred quarter horse. When I was growing up, I loved sports, all sports, and I still do. In the last few years, I've really been into horses. My folks would have loved for me to become a musician. However, like so many kids, I didn't want to practice. I played the piano for about a week and gave it up gladly when the teacher told my folks to save their money. But I always loved music and have spent most of my life in the music business. Early in my career, I worked for Randy Wood and Dot Records, and we had lots of hits with my dad. In those days, if an act had a smash hit, other stars would record it too. They were called cover records. And some of my dad's biggest hit albums featured these kinds of songs. Sometimes the song is so good, it can be a hit for everybody who records it. I think that's the case with Moon River, the next song on the show. It was a bestseller for my dad and such a big hit for Andy Williams that it became his theme song and the name of his theater in Branson, Missouri. rendition by Norma. Our good friend, Henry Mancini, wrote a novelty song that gave us another hit recording. Here it is for your listening and viewing pleasure. Baby, Elephant Walk. Ready? One and two and...
our Mary Lou Metzger and our associate producer, Jack Emmel. Among the country favorites, we had an instrumental recording. Tonight, we hear it by Ava Barber. By the time I get to Phoenix, he'll be rising. He'll find the note I left hanging on his door. And he'll laugh when he reads a part that says I'm leaving. Cause I've left that boy so many times before. By the time I've made Albuquerque, He'll be working He'll probably stop at lunch And give me a call But he'll just hear that phone Keep on ringing Off the wall That's all by the time I've made Oklahoma, he'll be sleeping. He'll turn softly and call my name out low. And he'll cry just to think I'd really leave him. Though time and time I've tried to tell him so. Just didn't know I would really go, really go, really go. That was one of Glenn Campbell's big hits and we do Gentle On My Mind a little later. As the years went by, Dad usually did a country song or two on the show every week. Actually, we've had a very close association with country music for a long time. The Welt Music Group was one of the largest publishers of country music and had an office in Nashville in the 80s. We had some pretty big hits, too. God Bless the USA, Little Green Apples, Good Hearted Woman, and my heroes have always been cowboys, to name just a few. It was no surprise to us that country music turned out to be one of the hottest things of the 90s. These days, my partner Ira Pittleman and the Welk Group run Heartland Music, one of the largest mail-order merchandisers of country music. We offer music by some of the hottest stars around, George Strait, Alabama, the Judds, the Statler Brothers, Floyd Kramer, Boxcar Willie, and lots more. In working with these guys, I started to hear more and more about the new Center for Family Entertainment. It's Branson, Missouri, a cozy little corner of the Ozarks, bursting at the seam with music theaters and major stars like Andy Williams, Mel Tillis, Tony Orlando, Bobby Vinton, Wayne Newton, and Ray Stevens. It's definitely the place to be. In honor of my father, and to continue his legacy of musical entertainment, I'm very happy to announce that the Welk family of stars will soon have its own theater and hotel in Branson, where you'll be able to see your favorites from the Welk show and the entire Lawrence Welk Orchestra whenever you're in town. The Champagne Theater will seat 2,200 people and will offer you the same first-class entertainment you've been seeing on television all these years. We've already started work on the project and plan to have it finished real soon. Hope you'll be there for the grand opening. Bring your mom and dad, too. You know, uh, everybody has reasons for where they wind up in life. I have uh, two reasons for where I wound up anywhere in life, and they happen to be here in the studio with us this evening, and I would like for you to meet my mother and daddy, Mr. and Mrs. Guy Hovis, Sr. 
from Tupelo, Mississippi, right down here. <laughs> Say hello to everybody in Tupelo for me. It's good to have them out here. Right now, Mr. and Mrs. Guy Hovis Jr. would like to sing for you one of the first songs we ever did when we joined the Lawrence Welk Show. Neil? Sky Hovis Jr. for a fine performance, and thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Sky Hovis Sr., for joining us this evening. This next song has become a country classic. You'll hear the band, Bob Smale, and Gentle on My Mind. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
The Welks and you fans out there have wanted to get the family of stars together on a permanent basis for a long time. And we hope you'll all come and see us in Branson. We think you'll really like the new theater, hotel, restaurant, and gift shop. You can see all your Welk favorites there, including the beautiful and talented Anna Connie and Joe Feeney, who is about to sing one of Dad's favorite Irish songs. Take of my heart, I love you. Don't let us part, I love you. I always knew it would be you. Since I heard your loading laughter, it's your Irish heart I'm after. Take of my heart, your glances make my heart say, how's chances come be my own? Come make your home in my heart. Give her a nice round of applause. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, Myra and I. Thank you. Well, Joe practically got himself in some trouble out there this evening. Let's not forget one of our early recordings, ladies and gentlemen, Maria Elena, which featured Jane Walton on the vocal. And let's not forget our little Mexican senorita, Ana Connie. She's joined by Neil LeVang on guitar. <laughs> of our training program. Here's a special favorite of many of our fans, one of our big requests, ladies and gentlemen. George Cates conducts the orchestra in a concert arrangement of Somewhere My Love. <laughs> 